Hey, it's been a while, but I have a new episode from my Bug Out Van Build Series, an ongoing van build series that I've been doing since 2015, since I built my tricked out Bug Out Moto Van that I use to travel across the country with my motorcycle. But I have some new Ampeak Pure Sine Wave Inverters that I will be installing in this episode and putting them to the test and seeing what they can really handle. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. First off, for those of you who haven't seen the tour of my Bug Out Moto Van, I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video. I designed this van as a camper van to live out of this van with my motorcycle inside keep the motorcycle safe with me and travel across the country and live comfortably in this van and this was an absolutely super cheap build this cost me less than ten thousand dollars including the van in this video i will be installing this new ampeak 1200 watt and 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and that 100 amp breaker switch i'm replacing my old cheap 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter that sucks and also adding this new 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter to my other battery system for the very first time by the way links to get these ampeak inverters at a discount price is in the description and comment section of this video and this is what you get with the ampeak 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter those four gauge power wires you get a wrench you don't see that very often coming with an inverter the manual and this is the actual inverter a little bit bigger than my old one but still pretty compact but packed with a lot of features and a lot supposedly a lot better than my old inverter my old inverter sucks because it the fan is loud and it cuts on for anything that i plug in and so hopefully this inverter doesn't do that and i'll put it to the test by plugging in all kinds of stuff this is what you get on the front of the 2000 watt model uh, dc cigarette outlet three ac outlets and two usb 3.1 amp outlets and on the top of the inverter has a display with various gauges that include the temperature inside the inverter and this is what you get with the 1200 watt model three ac outlets two usb 2.4 amp outlets and the display is similar to that on the 2000 watt model with both inverters you get three foot power cables but with the 2000 watt model you get four gauge wires and with the 1200 watt model i believe that's eight gauge power cables just to give you a brief overview of the solar system in my van i have a 325 watt monocrystalline solar panel that goes to a 40 amp mppt solar controller that charges two 100 amp hour lithium battleborne batteries I have an old 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter that has two gauge cables. So this new inverter will be an easy drop in. And then I also have a 225 watt monocrystalline solar panel that goes to a 20 amp MPPT solar controller that charges one 100 amp hour Uniwix lithium battery. And I will be adding an inverter for the very first time. With And by the way, I have two solar meters and two fuse boxes in the closet of my van i'll start out by swapping out to the new ampeak 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and we'll start off by removing the 200 amp fuse off the fuse block and then go ahead and remove the power and ground wires off the old inverter it feels good to get rid of that old noisy sucker now let's go ahead and put in the new ampeak inverter this is what my old inverter looks like compared to the new inverter both of them are 2000 watt pure sine wave inverters the ampeak's a little bit bigger but supposedly way better. We'll put it to the test and we'll see. I see one little issue already. Those terminals are in the center of the inverter and facing opposite directions. I'm gonna have to make a little modification to my setup so that the cables fit correctly, but it's not gonna be a big deal. I just have to move that fuse block a little to the right to accommodate those center terminals. Okay, went ahead and attached the two gauge cables to the inverter. Man, those cables are thick. I didn't use the four gauge cables that came with it. I'll use those for the 1200 watt inverter with my other setup. Okay, I went ahead and screwed down the inverter to the battery box and put on the covers. It's all ready to go. Now let's go ahead and test this bad boy. It powered up okay. Now let's test it out. I'm going to start off by plugging in my scooter battery and seeing if the fans cut on like my old crappy inverter does. Thank you. 
Hey, the fans don't come on. That's awesome. I love quiet. 213 watts and no fans. Awesome. Now I'll plug in my jigsaw and see what happens. Okay, let's see. We got... No problem. No problem. Now my circular saw. No. Short circuit. Oh well, I figured it wouldn't work because a circular saw requires at least 2500 watts of continuous power that this 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter can't do. Okay, now let's go ahead and install the 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter on this battery box for this 100 amp hour Uniwix lithium battery. The first step is to go ahead and drill a couple of holes to accommodate the four gauge power cables that actually came with the 2000 watt inverter. Now to install the 100 amp breaker switch on the positive cable, I go ahead and cut the cable, stick the end in one end of the breaker switch, tighten it down, and then I cut another piece of cable. By the way, I cut the end of the cable off with a utility knife and I pulled the end off with pliers, stick the exposed end to the other side of the breaker switch. I went ahead and screwed down the breaker switch to the battery box. Now I went ahead and installed the leads to the terminals on the battery and went ahead and screwed down the inverter. Now I add the leads onto the end of the terminals of the inverter. Make sure to put that rubber boot up to the end so it's not exposed. Now go ahead and power up the inverter. Boom! Works good. Okay now let's test it out and plug in my scooter battery and see if the fans come on. With the 2000 watt inverter, the fans did not come on. So let's see what happens with this inverter. The fans came on and they're pretty loud. That was to be expected though. The manual states at anything over 100 watts and the fans will come on with this 1200 watt inverter. I don't plan on using this to charge my scooter batteries. I'll use the 2000 watt inverter where the fans didn't come on. I'll just use this for small stuff. Let's see what else I can plug in. my jigsaw works fine and the fans didn't come on let's plug in the circular saw and see what happens hey same exact thing that happened with the 2000 watt inverter uh, it starts for a little bit and then the alarm goes off and you got to cut it off and cut it back on. That was to be expected as this circular saw requires 2400 watts of continuous power which this 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter does not provide. You'd have to get at least a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter to run that circular saw. So far I'm really pleased with these Ampeak pure sine wave inverters especially that 2000 watt one. Uh, because now when I plug in mostly anything, the fans hardly ever come on. And the smaller one, I didn't expect it to run anything big anyhow. So, and these uh, use very little draw on the battery compared to other inverters. That's what I love about them. And from what I hear, they're pretty reliable and great. Uh, we'll see. I'll give you a long-term review. This is what it looks like with the bed down. By the way, they are having a sale. I have a discounted link on these Ampeak inverters in the description and comment section of this video. And I have links to all the stuff I built in this van at my website at CycleCruiser.com. Dot com. Click on my van stuff. Hit thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell symbol. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's time to plan a bug out van trip across the country. Stay tuned. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.